Oh boy, look at that. Will you look at that? Yep, it's back. New, the repaired one. This whole center thing is just perfect. Do I need to say anything? This is the original radio and the original fascia for the V35. Now, I doubt it's exactly for the coupe or for the one that I have. Yeah, we've got Javi with us because it doesn't have the same buttons over here. But that being said, I bought it on Marketplace. It's in working condition, pretty much comes with everything that I need and extra. Why I bought it? Because I don't know if you remember, I don't have a radio. Yep, it's just empty space. So the plan is we need to remove this one. I'll put lights on to make it uh, clearer. I need to remove this one on and see if I can Frankenstein this and that to at least have a radio. We've got light, much better. Welcome back, folks. If you still here, that means you're interested. So I thank you for that. Good thing that we've already got this one removed and the knob and pretty much the whole drama simply because for us to remove this one, we need to ensure that this one is open because I think there is some screws that at the bottom or somewhere. Yeah, I can see some screws here and there. So we just need to make sure that we've got it all right. Now, I've watched a YouTube video uh, online and it took me a while until I figured it out. But for me to remove this one, uh, I think I might need to remove the glove compartment because I need to access that area. There's two screws over there that I need to remove them to remove this plastic piece and two screws over here in order to remove this plastic piece. To remove this one, I need to remove the kick panel. To remove this one, I need to remove the glove compartment. To remove the glove compartment, I need to remove a screw over there as well in order to release it so that I can access this, the hidden screw under. And over here as well, I need to remove the two screws for the latch as well because they're attached to the upper part of it. Yep, so two screws over here for the glove uh, compartment latch. Uh, over there, screw and a knob. Then under that, there's a screw. This one, uh, I think screw or two or something. Same goes over here. Once that is done, then there is a screw over here as well. I don't know, yep, you can see it remove it and that will allow me to fish this one out allegedly if i can fish this one out then i'll be able to hopefully hopefully and i say it <laughs> doubtfully to remove this uh, fascia with the vents as well so the vents they come with it basically once it's removed then i'll be able to look into all the wires at the back just to figure it out although somebody Somebody went to town with the wires over here. Look, look, look at the nightmare. Why would anyone do this? Why? Jesus. Yeah, so go figure, go figure. All these at the bottom of here, luckily that we've already removed them, so we don't need to worry about them. These are for this area, so I'm not fussed about it. Yeah, let me get a screwdriver and go to town with this one. See what I'm talking about? Managed to drop this one down. So I removed this skirting over here in order to access the plastic trim over there, the kick panel thingy, in order to release the screw hidden inside. That will drop the box down once you release all the screws up. You don't need to unhook it, just keep it as is. I don't care because I just need it to be down so that I can access the, whole, the screw over there and the other one over here that holds the other plastic piece, which is this one. Once that is done, you've got two screws, one over here and one over there, and the one at the top, plus from the other side, see? Under, down, push this one out, and you'll access the two screws over here. And this, in theory, you can basically lift it. There you go. 
uh, it definitely needs two hands but once you lift it out you'll be able to lift it like so so that the metal thingy can basically fish out then we can get it out and we can look into what the hell are we doing or going to do with this one let me just remove this trim because it doesn't belong here for now and leave it to the side that way we can remove it safe safely I'll get it out we'll go over there and we'll compare both and we'll see if all this effort gone in vain or it's I don't know working I don't know at least if I can just put the radio over here just to cover up this space but yeah it's a hot mess in here yeah start here remove them there remove them that gives you access get it out then work on it let's get it out and work over there oh boy look at that yep I got it look at the back we've got two connections that we need to remove one and two they connect to this and this one once you remove them you'll be able to get it out and there you go actually there are three connections one two and three yep this is for the screen so this goes here and those two this one and that one goes to here and here let's get this one out so that we can work on it but boy oh boy look at this mess jesus let me get out of here now you get to compare both and if you haven't spotted the difference yet look over here you see what do you see under nothing emptiness right look over here which is exactly the same this is it what do you see here there you go so this fascia and this it's not the same now I can use this one instead of that one but then I'm, I like this one more I don't know I, I genuinely like this one more the color the design everything and even the wording over here so here's what I'm thinking I'm thinking what I can do is get everything out of here put it over here in theory it should work because they're technically identical technically dare I say I don't know I just need to remove quite a lot of things let's just say eh. yeah definitely anyways if I can get the screen out this section and put it here then what I'm gonna do I'll remove this section as well replace it with this one because I don't like this this is black this is matching color and everything else I'll just put it over here and that way I have a CD changer and this somehow works I don't know let's see that guys this is the screen we managed to remove it you've got four bolts one two down two top and you'll be able to remove it out of this one so now I've got this and I've got that granted they're not exactly the same because look at the board over here the board is one piece Whilst over here, you can clearly tell this is separate. It's not the same, but still the same. I mean, I don't actually need to use this board because this board controls what? Yeah, AC vent and blah, 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 which is same. So I just need to remove the fascia. I need the buttons from the other side over here. So. You've got screws over here, you can clearly see them. And this is how you remove the board, basically, out of it. Once you remove the board, you'll be able to look into the other things. And once that is done, then I need to remove this piece, put it here, and start slowly moving things. Not bad. We're getting somewhere. Yo. Ah, oh, uh, in terms of the vents, pay attention. You've got metal clip to the side. And over here as well this is basically when it bolts into back to the actual dashboard so these are the metal clips that you need to pay attention to when you remove it you don't want to break it so you've got two in each side and I think they go in one way Let's think about it this way uh, this is the other one so technically this is how it looks there you go like this 
like so. Yep. And if you look at it from the other side, yeah, it does make sense because this side needs to go up. And this one down. I think. Yep, I was right. Uh, somebody put something the opposite way, I think. I oh, now actually no no because this one goes up and down. There you go. So this side up. Remember that. Cool, cool. All right. Let's remove whatever we can. Remove whatever we can and commence the replacement process. Guys, this is the new one. This is the old one. So you see, we've already installed this one. That was fairly easy. There you go. A couple of screws and just take them out of the old and put them into the new. And this vent is actually from the old one and we put it into the new to me one. There you go. Fairly easy. I'll show you. Over here, start from the inside. See those? With your fingers or a clip removal, just pry on it. Those two. As you pry on it, the outside will be fairly easy to remove and you can just get it out easy as it's just plain and simple and just like that now i'm going to remove the other one as well but i definitely need to wash it and that leaves us with the last thing how to get those out now if you look at the back you can see that yep these are the plastics so you can push them out but i can get rid of this but what about the other side I don't know how to do that, so chances are I need to remove this piece out in order to be able to see the inside. If that works, then I'll do pretty much the same thing. I'll remove all the screws from over here in order to remove the board so that I can access the buttons and do the replacement needed. Sounds all right. I don't need to worry about the wiring, mind you, because it's exactly the same uh, buttons. Exactly the same, so it's not going to be an issue here cool okay so i removed the screws that were held off here and surprise surprise yep i have full access to remove the buttons one by one without breaking any clip whatsoever so using the same token i decided to remove those zillion screws and voila this is the board beautiful and this is the plastic where I basically need to remove the buttons one by one to ensure that I've got my gray one not bad huh sweet so probably this is gonna be the last time that you see it in black so have a quick look at it see how it looks and how it sits it's in black and this is the beige gray whatever you want to call it and side by side they are identical so i just need to replace them one by one and that should solve the problem <laughs> guys this is the old one yep this is the old one and it's black now and this one is installed check what do you think so see now this is the new one so the fascia is new this is from the old one these are the buttons that i got the rest they came with the new to me one so this is the old one now and this is the new one i'm really happy now the screen will sit over here at least now i've got something and this is the radio and this is the screen so i just need to attach this one to that like you know how it is basically the reverse order of everything really good okay it's heavy so don't be fooled by how it looks from the back we managed to put the screen and the radio how it works you need to put the radio first because there are screws at the bottom you need to put them once you do that then you put the screen on top uh, fishing it and install it exactly in place it's finicky but trust me it will fit snug fit but it'll fit and there you have it so it's done now all what i need to do is just basically install it back into the car 
nice screen. And I don't know if you noticed, before we even started, we didn't even have the bezel over here. Or did we? Actually, no, we did have it. Oh uh, yeah, but now we do have two. Ain't that something? I like it. Let's hope that we can put it back in the car. Now, keep in mind, uh, I've got some wiring nightmare over there. So chances are the radio is not going to work because I've got a lot of wires cut. But at least, looks wise, it's going to look good. That's all what I care about. All right. As much as I hate electrical work, I managed to basically put this one back. Remember, it was only one wire that is connected. Now all of it connected and properly done. That leaves me with only one cable, which is this one, this cable. Somebody cut this cable and I don't have it. And if I look at the back, I suspect it's this one. I suspect it's going to be this one. If it's not this one, it's going to be this one. Like it's one of those two. Anywho, I've got it all assembled and everything. So what I was thinking, connect it all and see what turns on and what turns off. Cool. Well, connected the battery and I don't know if you can see it, but all of it is lit, but nothing is working. But the point is at least, oh, hello. Okay. Okay. And I think something is working. I can feel air. All right, all right, of course I need to switch the car on. Oh, okay. Okay, shit lot of things in Japanese. I don't understand anything, but it's working. I can select this. Huh. Hey, I'm happy with this side. As for this one, I do believe the car needs to switch on. But power wise, yeah, it's not connected, but hey, I am happy that I've got something to work on. Let's turn the car off. Let's put this contraption back together. At least now we have something that looks decent and that's all what it matters. Cool. Will you look at that? Yep, it's back. New, the repaired one. This whole center thing is just perfect and all work as they should connected and all and also managed to get the rest of the sound system that was there so just to be clear we have not connected all the wiring for the radio so it's not connected which means chances are it's not gonna work but at least now it looks nice because this is exactly how it should look now, once we're all done with that, I can take it to the mechanic and tell them, figure it out and get it sorted. But at least for me now, everything is connected, everything as it should, and it looks freaking awesome. And yep, everything is back the way it is. I mind you, yes, I did install this one. And yes, I do have the other one for this one. So. Once I find it, I'm just going to find it and install it. So don't worry about it. But yeah, what do you think? Now this is a nice mug shot. There you go. Installed. Anyways, this is the first video for the 2024. Happy New Year to everyone. If you like what you see, stick around. We are going to tackle things. So finally, we're putting things back. Till then, you take care of yourself until I see you next time, okay? Yalla.